well then. One like a uh, little camp. And I hope that this one is uh, well. And I'm really looking forward to this today. Hopefully it goes a bit more according to well, there is no plan as such. Have a little look about. Nice woodland walks. And just check out areas to plot up in the night. The sunset's gonna be quite early. On five, I believe. So gotta keep an eye on the time a bit. So I don't want to be setting up in the dark. I want to set up when there's an hour or so's light. Around about five-ish. Anyway, I'm going to try not to talk too much on this one, <laughs> and uh, hopefully have a nice day. I'm going to head up to a nearer spot near a place called Grimes Graves, which is a uh, Neolithic or prehistoric Stone Age. I don't know if all them phrases are right or just one of them, but yeah, flint mine. It isn't graves, although I can imagine people probably did die there. Point show time. Well, that was a short, sharp shower. By the time I got my poncho on, well, it didn't had to stop, but it didn't last much more than a few minutes. But it come down hard. And we'll see how these old trousers said when I bought them quick drying. I hope so. Because <laughs> they're drenched. Probably not the best thing to get into a bit of shelter or climb through all that. That's probably another reason why my legs are soaked. But still. Short, sharp showers. Yes. <laughs> I'm going that way. Edibles. I'm gonna have to learn me mushrooms. Some. I want to head over there. Look, it just looks nice, don't it? But my original plan was to head that way. I'm gonna sit under here. I have a spot of lunch under the tree over here because it just looks inviting I may even go to the next stand of trees and then um, review me map American ration packy thing cheese tortellini with marinara sauce Something to do with Grimm's Graves or Grimes Graves, I think. Well, I didn't have to pay to come in because there was a stile over there. You saw me come over. I've only come in about a hundred yards or so. No, I'm not going to camp here. Mm. 
fire dragon thing was just enough to get this warm and hopefully enough to get the water hot enough for a cup of tea. It did boil, but not for that long. Do the job just a tad hotter. I think I'm coming near a train track. I've seen a nice little bit of looking woodland. Which is where I'm I'm gonna come explore this area more. Because it's lovely. Anyway, I must get on. Find a spot to uh, get comfy. Didn't have me lunch that long ago. I'm getting hungry again. They're not like a full that that one thing I had for lunch. Is, I don't know if you could tell how big the uh, packet was. It's not like a it's not like a full meal really. I'm gonna go straight down this track and then veer off into that woodland. Probably plot up somewhere in there, I'm sure. And it's getting on to the time where I need to find a spot and start. Well, thinking about getting set up somewhere I feel comfortable. This is it, this is my spot. Nice spot. Someone's been here before. Looks like that's where they had the fire. Broken glass. <sighs> or should I go a bit further that way? No, this is a nice spot. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna plot here. I'm just gonna check out, that's the path just down there. There's my dinner on. Trangia, it's got the trivets on the trangia as well and the cup's just sitting inside the lip of the bush box LF. Wayfarer, steak and vegetable, stew type thing. Life and death. Hopefully it won't come to that. These are nice, I think I've had these before. Let me set up as a plough point. Well, sort of plough, well it is a plough point, it's just that, that corner isn't down to the floor, it's just about a foot off. The middle, uh, tied up to that branch plenty of room probably could have done with just me basher OEX Bush Pro Bivy snug pack jungle bag it's a cheap old deeply mat which seems like it's going down hopefully not I've got that underneath there as well as a little bit of insurance is that going down but if I'm not warm enough in there, I've got me uh, Helicon Tech Swagman roll. And then just out here, we've got, I think it's the grounds of Grimes Graves. Lovely view for me. It would have been nice to set up up there somewhere, a bit more in the open where you can just see this constantly. But I've only, let's say, only got a few steps. Lovely. Yeah, I'm gonna go and eat, and then I'm gonna get a cup of tea on. This looks a bit like a dog's dinner. Smells nice. Steak and vegetables. Yeah. Post nourishing. There are other people quite nearby, and it's getting very dark. I don't know why. Hopefully, they won't be here too long. Have a cup of tea. 
There's my view. Obviously, I can't see much further than my nose when I ain't got no lights on because it is pitch black. There's loads of these. That, no, I don't think they're biters, are they? Oh, I don't know. There's loads of them. Look. Got my uh, middle of my uh, tarp tied up. That's two um, jungle nines, jungle knot, jungle, I don't know, jungle cords. They're like a paracord version of bungee almost. You just hook them on and they have them all the way up and they hook on themselves sort of thing. That's where I've joined one and I've wrapped it around there and just I haven't even had to tie it, it just its own tension holds it. It's not like super, super taut, but it, as you can see, it's sort of bringing it, bringing it up, pulling it out. But yeah, I feel quite um, chilled now, fed and watered, just had me dinner, a cup of tea. Um, I'm gonna crack open an ale in a minute. When I was picking the gear I was gonna bring out tonight, I've got, I haven't got loads of stuff, but I've got quite a bit of stuff. So I kept switching over my sleeping bag, kept switching over. I've got a few bivy bags. I like, I love type and bivy camping, love it. And I kept switching, what should I use, what should I use? And sort of, I love the OEX bivy, but like I said, I don't know if I said earlier, now to get in there, there's no zip. So I've got to sort of worm my way in. But like, because I've set it up like that, sort of I'm going to be sort of having to be careful not to pull the pegs out the tarp and I sort of got to worm in this way. Once you're in there, it's comfy. But then when you get out again, it's, you've got to do the same thing. You know, if you need a wee in the night, or, I don't know, I'm thinking of going wool blanket -y way as well. But we see. It is lovely. I don't know why. It's such a shame that wild camping is, well, strictly illegal. Because if everyone followed the code, you know, certain distance away from dwellings, away from roads, away from other people, leave no trace. It's um, yeah, it's just a lovely thing to do. It's nice. Yeah, you know, I don't always get the best night's sleep when I'm out, and sometimes you think, ah, oh, I need a good night's kip, a couple of good night's kips, and a bit of a lie in, um, just to recover and get yourself ready for the next week, the next week at a rat rat base. But it's like a reset. It is. You're alone with your thoughts. Yes, yeah. I think there's rain forecast for sort of one, two o'clock in the morning, but I'm in a bivvy. I'm under a tarp as well. Be cushy. What is it? Half eight, quarter nine. It got a tiny bit chilly earlier, so I put my swagman roll on. Proper done the trick, I feel too hot now. There's loads of flies about. I've got a citronella candle in my UCO in my UCO lantern. And citronella's meant to keep them away, they're all buzzing round it. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is it's a gorgeous clear night. And the stars are beautiful. I don't know, they look they look like, um, I don't know, like there's a massive black tarp over us with little pin pricks of light in them. It looks stunning. Probably need a real expensive camera to show them up. Or just your bare eyes. But I can't share that. And solitude is nice a bit but sometimes it's still nice to have a little chat good night and uh, I'll see you all in the morning
Fuck, you know what? Yeah. Morning. Just going off six. Uh, God. Just going off six. It's still pitch black. Uh, yeah, I slept all right. I woke up about half one after after a two or three hours sleep. Took me a while to go back to sleep because me zip on me bug mesh on me jungle bag. Give me some jip. Well, uh. Yeah, so it probably took me another hour, hour and a half to get to sleep. Cup of coffee time. Not me. Still pitch black, seven o'clock. That candle's been going for a long time. Lovely, yeah, it's about quarter to eight now. Yeah, lovely. Packed up, ready to roll. No trace, a little bit of scuffed up ground that I can't do too much with, but no mess, no rubbish, no hazards. <laughs> Flying low. But last night, when I was looking out here, here's the tree where I had my lunch. Yeah, looking out here, 
thinking it would have been nice to have camped out here because the stars last night were beautiful there was a, it was a clear night for a period not all night for a period and uh, I'm, I am heading down that way in a minute but I'm just having a look here for future reference that little circle of trees and bushes where I could camp in the middle of as long as I didn't set up too early and then I had daylight or something Thought it went round in a circle and there was a gap in the middle. Pricklies as well. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> no, 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 yes. It's a lovely. Oh, I was tempted to go over there yesterday, but on the map it did say it had a red thing around it saying danger area, but I don't know why. straight up to I did because I dipped in to have a look at an area then I went off and then went round longer than I needed to like always <laughs> I always do that so, yeah. but I wasn't too fast because I was on no agenda I wasn't heading anywhere in particular I had a rough idea what I was going to have a look around I'm off. I'll uh, catch you soon, actually. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.